hello guys and uh, welcome to my channel in this video we're gonna play with uh, mesh morpher and uh, meta humans and uh, we will attempt to create a morph target from a meta human to another meta human in order to uh, transition between meta humans just using a morph target so first of all uh, we will use uh, three meta humans uh, this uh, they are ada amelia and aoi I don't know how to pronounce this from now on this is the old guy in this uh, in this uh, project so we will avoid confusion so uh, the old guy let's open mesh morpher and uh, let's open the Amelia we will use Amelia as our base mesh and we will copy we, we will create uh, an Ada morph target on Amelia face mesh and an old guy morph target on Amelia face mesh so we will open Amelia and we will work with a create morph target from a mesh to understand better how this create more target uh, morph target from a mesh uh, works uh, let me uh, explain you a little bit how uh, how how uh, everything goes so this is the old guy as you can see on uh, LOD 0 he has uh, 35,212 vertices and uh, Amelia on LOD 0 has 35,184 uh, vertices. They are not compatible. They don't have identical topology. And uh, with uh, version uh, with version 155 uh, of uh, Mesh Morpher, uh, the the algorithm allows uh, us to iterate from LOD 0 to LOD 1 to LOD 2 and so on until it finds a similar topology. I made this change especially for MetaHuman, so hopefully everything works out. As, uh, you you can see your mesh morpher version uh, if you go to help and about 155 is the is the version that attempts uh, to fix this. So. Uh, Let's get back here and see LOD1. Uh, LOD1 has uh, 19,765 vertices and on Amelia it's uh, 19,761. Uh, they are still no, no uh, compatible. So let's see LOD0. LOD0 has uh, 10,024 vertices on uh, Amelia and on the old guy uh, it's similar so we, we found an LOD that uh, has a similar topology this means that uh, we can uh, create a morph target from this face on uh, Amelia so uh, let's get going uh, we will uh, press on create a morph target from a mesh and we will select the old guy that's it Uh, new morph target uh, okay morph target uh, these options are only available uh, uh, when uh, when the LOD uh, that has identical topology is higher than zero so we will la leave the, the, the default options by themselves uh, if you have troubles uh, not getting uh, good results just uh, play with these settings and uh, and uh, it will work out probably at some point so we have uh, uh, everything set up here and let's press ok it will take a while uh, the meshes both uh, face meshes are huge uh, they are very complicated and it will take a while okay uh the morph target has been created and uh, we can go ahead uh, with our work let's uh, maximize the window and uh, decrease the camera speed so we will uh, move a little bit easier around let's open the newly created morph target So after uh, you can see the morph target created, uh, what uh, we have to do is align the morph target with the original face. 
well, for a smooth transition so it looks believable. Uh, to do that, we have to select a reference, uh, skeletal mesh, and we will select Amelia because this is our original uh, face mesh. If we attempt to 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 leave it like this, when uh, when uh, we use this morph target, it will transition from this uh, this face to this face. As you can see, they are not at all aligned, and it will look awful. So we will use transform tool here in uh, Mesh Morpher, and we will drag it down it almost look it looks yeah that's a little bit up so the eyes are at the same spot we, we care a lot about the eyes and the mouth for the teeth. Yeah, it looks fine for uh, for this experiment. Okay. We don't care about the ears to be aligned at all. We don't uh, really care that. So next thing we have to do is uh, is below the neck area. We need to fix this because it will still look awful when we transition uh, when we morph uh, uh, Amelia into this old guy. So what we have to do is use restore brush and restore everything as outside as possible of the original mesh yeah don't worry if uh, right now it looks a little bit confusing everything will be fine So Okay. And a little bit here. Yeah. Okay. So I guess it's it's okay. Let's hide a little bit the reference uh, mesh. Okay. Yeah. And now we can come with with a smooth brush If uh, you have a little bit more skills at sculpting than me, then uh, this uh, will uh, look much, much better. I'm just doing it super fast so we can, uh, so we can reach a uh, proper result as soon as possible. So this looks okay. This looks okay for now. Let's save it. Saving again is gonna take a little bit of time, but uh, we're getting there. Thank you. 
Ok. Now we can go ahead and check our results. Let's open uh, Amelia again and see what's going on. Yep, it's uh, it, the results uh, are good enough for our uh, little experiment here. Let's check it again. This is the initial phase and if you increase the the value of uh, all guy morph target it will uh, transition smoothly between them. Okay, we can uh, we can go ahead and uh, and uh, create another morph target and this time we will select Ada. Ada morph target ada has the same uh, uh, topology on uh, lod zero so uh, uh, the algorithm doesn't have to iterate through all uh, all uh, lod's it won't be too much faster but it's a little bit faster okay it's uh, done. Let's open Ada Morph Target. And we will attempt to do the same thing. We will add a reference skeletal mesh and point it to Amelia and switch to Transform Tool. And let's see. Probably a little bit down. Yeah, I think this is it. Let's just align it a little bit more. I think I think this is kind of right and we will proceed doing the same same thing we will uh, I think we can hide uh, the reference skeletal mesh we don't need it anymore and we will select restore uh, brush so we can restore the vertices on the side here on the outside of this skirt here on this uh, thing to their original location yep okay and now we can go ahead with the smooth uh, brush and smooth around I think we should a little bit decrease this smooth brush. Yeah. Okay. And we will just make it look as better as we can. I think this is it. Let's save it. Okay, the uh, the changes are saved, and let's 
reopen Amelia and see how this works out. So this is Amelia and this is the old guy. Obviously you can you can mix them together and play with it as you want. It doesn't uh, really matter. You can do it safely. You can get all the results you want, but uh, this kind of results you probably get uh, much uh, better in uh, MetaHuman Creator. So this is it guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, uh, you you like uh, Mesh Morpher. I hope uh, if you don't have it already, you will get it. And uh, thank you for coming by and see you in the next video.